Hey guys, welcome to Solid Gaming University channel. In this video, we're going to be covering how to use the plunge milling feature in pocketing. Um, I had a special request for this by a couple of customers, so I'm going to show you guys a quick video on how to do it. So we have our part set up right here. Um, what you want to do is come to your pocketing operation and chain your pocket like you normally would. So we'll just do our constant Z and go ahead and pick a tool. For this particular one, I am using a half inch. Go ahead and pick your levels. So our pocket depth is going to be the bottom right here. And if you want to do in variable step downs, or we can just do it all in one cut by putting that at zero. Now in the technology, here's where you're going to switch it to your plunging. So hit the drop down, click on plunge pattern, and it's automatically going to open up the plunging pattern tab for you. Now you guys can do follow stock, so it's going to go all the way around the outside, or we have the option to do the hatch, and I'll show you both ways. So let's do 50% uh, overlap for both of these here, and we'll do a save and calculate, and let's do a simulate, do a solid verify, you know, slow it down a little bit for you, and it's going to do kind of like a contour style, starting from the outside or the inside and working its way to the outside of the stock. Now, if you don't like that pattern, we can do the hatch pattern, do save and calculate, simulate, and for this one, just do a machine sim here for you. And we'll zoom in here and go ahead and play this. And you'll see it just goes back and forth as a hatch pattern, hatching out everything in there using that plunging pattern. So, um, that's how you guys use the plunging pattern inside of uh, the pocket operation. If you guys have any questions, please give us a call or shoot me an email. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks inside SolidCam. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day.